Hey, welcome to Baby Time. Today is Monday, July 18, 2022. This is Miss Emily, and we are having a beautiful sunny day. So let's get started. We are going to talk, sing, read, write, and play today because those are the five focus areas of early literacy skills. So I'm excited about this. How about you? Let's get going. There's our cat all ready for a song. Will you sing with me? Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and roll with me, roll with me, roll with me. Come along and roll with me on a sunny Monday. Come along and stretch with me, stretch with me, stretch with me. Come along and stretch with me on a sunny Monday. Great job, everybody. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? That's a very nice name. My name is Miss Emily and I am glad you're here. Let's do some stretches this morning. I love to get up and stretch in the morning, don't you? Up, down. Turn around, touch the sky, and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle shoulders. Say, hello, hi out there. Alrighty, we've got a snail on this picture. Oh my goodness, the word snail starts with the letter S. S snail, you can hear it. So let's sing S is for snail. S is for snail, that's good enough for us. S is for snail, that's good enough for us. S is for snail, that's good enough for us. Oh, snail, snail, snail starts with S. Great job. There were a lot of S's in that song. Us starts, lots of S's. I could hear us hissing all over the place. <laughs> Well, I still haven't seen too many rainbows, but I am i am always hopeful. We'll see more, I bet. This is a good time of year for rainbows. Let's sing our rainbow song and we'll sing all of our colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Indigo and purple are in there too. Shining brightly way up high. I see a rainbow in the sky. Rain and sun will work together, making it my favorite weather. Great job. I do love a good rainbow. Now let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat with all of our animal song actions. Are you ready? Get your oars out. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat gently down the creek. If you see a little mouse, don't forget to squeak. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Woohoo! Good job. And now it's time for the question of the day. Oh, look at that. There's a map on our picture today. Where are you going today? And can you write about it? Ooh, this is a good one. We're talking about writing, which is one of our five focus areas, one of our skills. And, you know, when you go someplace new, do you write about it? Do you draw a picture? This map is full of pictures and words, so it's got all kinds of good things in it. Hmm. It's even got our city, Ludington. Um, that's pretty cool. I haven't looked at it too much, but that's a really neat map. Where you're, wherever you're going today, will you write about it? So let's do a counting rhyme with our bees and our beehive. Can you make a fist? Okay, let's get started. Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding inside, where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Woo, great counting to five today. 
Now it's time for our opposites rhyme. Let's start with big. Stretch your arms way out to the sides. Get as big as you can. This is big, 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 and this is small, small, small. This is short, 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 and this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 and this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, 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 and this is no, no, no. We can do our sign language for yes and no. Yes is to nod our fist like we nod our head, and no is to pinch two fingers with the thumb. Good job, everybody. I have been loving this song, and I hope you have too, to go with our Oceans of Possibilities theme for the summer reading program. I hope you're enjoying it. In the ocean, in the ocean, in the ocean there will be all the creatures that I love and that I want to see. Sea horses, whales and jellyfish, sharks and tuna, dolphins too. Raisin skates, eels and urchins, I will swim now, how about you? Great singing! Yes, we've had a fun time with our oceans theme this summer, and I hope that you're all still doing your summer reading program. Let's do the months of the year. Do you remember all 12 months? We will say them together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job. And which month are we in right now? Do you remember? It's July. Yes, right up at the top of the second column. It starts with a J and it's got fireworks. We had a fun time seeing fireworks. Yes, and doing sparklers and all kinds of fun things. It's the middle of summer. Yeah. We'll have lots of good weather yet to go. Let's do a finger rhyme. I love finger rhymes because they make my fingers work a little harder and they get my muscles moving. And we know that's a pre-writing skill. We're talking about writing today. That's something that we can do every day to help strengthen those finger muscles. So let's do where is Thumpkin? Are your hands all ready? Okay. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, friend? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, friend? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, friend? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Good singing. Good job with your finger muscles. All right, now it's time for some parent encouragement. Writing about a subject can be a lot of fun. Try coming up with a story about your surroundings or some special thing that you're viewing. I've got a picture here of our fish tank at the library, and you can ask your children about what they see right now. You know, try and get as many descriptive words as you can, and then go home and write about it. You know, even if it's just a list of words on a page, it doesn't have to be a paragraph because I know some people worry about that. You know, sometimes it's hard to write a whole story, but if you can write just a list of 10 words or five words that describe what you were doing in a particular moment. You know, in this case, I would say fish and I would say blue and I would say coral and I might write peaceful or calm, you know, whatever you're, you know, you can get feeling words, you can get description words, you can get um, facts about what you were seeing. All of those things are great because they're going to add to the vocabulary that your child associates with this experience. They're going to add to their understanding of how they felt about it. And those words are going to help them describe to someone else the next time how they're feeling, how they experience the world. So anytime that you can do something with your family and then write about it, it helps connect those neurons in our brains, helps connect all of those things and 
maybe the next time they hear the word blue, they think, oh, blue like the fish tank. Or the next time they hear the word peaceful, they say, oh, I have seen other peaceful things. I feel peaceful when I'm at the beach or in a car ride or whatever. You know, it will help make those connections in their brains. And that's part of the whole process here. Literacy isn't just being able to read the words on the page and read a story. It's being able to communicate with other humans. So give it a try today. If you go out and about this week, take a moment when you get home to grab a piece of paper and say, let's think about what we just did. Can we come up with some words that help us describe that? So that when we talk to whoever, grandma, dad, somebody at work, a sibling who's at, down for a nap, whatever, you know, we can talk about this and we have some words to describe it. I hope it works out. Hmm, what day of the week is it? Is it Friday? No. Is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday. Monday is baby time. Let's sing our days of the week together. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday days of the week. Great job! I am so glad you're here for this day of the week. Now it's time to sing our ABCs. I use my ABCs every single day, not just for reading, but for putting things in order too. So ABCs are not just a reading skill, they're also a math skill. Did you know that? I think we've said that before. <laughs> Let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Yay! job. I hope you can come to story time and sing and play instruments with us for ABCs sometime. That's a lot of fun too. Let's do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? Everybody up. Head and shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head and shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. All right, let's keep moving. I like to keep going on some action songs here. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. This is the way we touch our nose, touch our nose, touch our nose. This is the way we touch our nose so early in the morning. This is the way we hop and hop, hop and hop, hop and hop. This is the way we hop and hop so early in the morning. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. Woo, good job. All those action songs made me so happy. And then I'm so sad because it's the goodbye train and that means we're almost done. But I'm glad you came for story, for baby time today. I'm really happy that you were here. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Genevieve. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Madeline. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, we'll say goodbye to Oscar. We'll say goodbye to Erinin. We'll say goodbye to Constance. See you soon. Toot, toot. But don't go quite yet. We have so many things to talk about. We have our summer reading program, Oceans of Possibilities, 
lots of good stories about aquatic animals and oceans and life in the water. And this week at Storytime, we're talking about seahorses. So that's going to be tons of fun. Um, we have an app if you want to track your reading on it online that's called Read Squared. And if you need help setting that up, we're glad to help you. We've got paper forms in the library, not just for kids. Although we do our summer reading program to help children, we also do it to help teens and adults. So we've got bingo sheets for grown-ups, bingo sheets for teenagers. Everybody fifth grade and down gets to track their time and prizes await for everyone. We're getting new prizes every, every single week. It's really fun. I love it. But the big excitement, of course, is Monday's program this afternoon, starting at 1 p.m., only in Ludington, the inflatable planetarium is back. So we go back and forth between buildings. Each year, it's a different spot. This year is Ludington. Next year will be Scottville. Shows start about every 45 minutes. So 1 o'clock, 1.45, 2.30, 3.15. And they're appropriate for families, I would say ages 5 and up, would be able to sit still long enough. Babies, they don't care, <laughs> obviously. And toddlers, they're not going to be excited to sit in the dark for 25 minutes and listen to our very nice man from the planetarium talk about the stars. But um, also, you're going to need to be able to crawl inside the dome. There's a little tunnel that opens up into the major dome, and you've got to be able to climb in there on your hands and knees, pretty much. So, just for your information, the smallest kids can pretty much stand up inside that, but grown-ups definitely cannot. You've got to at least crouch over. So I hope that you'll come. Um, we will give out tickets on the day of the show at those times for the people who are there. Um, we always get too many people for the first show, so we start giving out tickets for the next show, that sort of thing. Um, and I hope that everybody has a great day. We have had a really fun baby time. We've talked about a lot of things. Hopefully your week is full of writing as well as other good literacy events <laughs> and reading every day because reading every day really does make a huge difference. So I'm sending you off into the world with the information that you have to be great readers and great early literacy people. And I'm glad you were here today. This is Miss Emily saying, see you next week.